gosh, I love Saturdays um, just because I don't have to get up at four o'clock in the morning to go to the gym. Not that I'm complaining because I love my workout, but I got to sleep in today and it's like, oh wow, this is cool. I love it. It's gonna be really hot today. Well, when I say really hot, it's supposed to be like, I don't know, let's see how hot it's supposed to be. I'm saying it's gonna be hot and then I have no idea what the temperature is gonna be. So it's going to be 93 degrees today. And I have been whining and complaining about no summer here. And now I am telling myself, I'm like, Lonnie, you cannot whine and complain about the heat because you were just whining and complaining that it wasn't hot. So I'm going to embrace the heat today. So I'm gonna sit here, have my coffee, read my contract, I have to translate some YouTube videos because I do translate my videos to, I think it's 14 different languages. First, I have to take Indy outside to go to the bathroom. I have her little book bags right here because I, I don't, I can't stand, I, I can't, I'm not the type of person that can be like, oh, my dog just pooped in the backyard and then just leave it there. She poops, it goes in the can. It's, it's, it's a flashback to when I was drinking during my drinking days. I was not the best housekeeper and I was not the best pooper picker upper. So now that I'm sober, uh, that's like one of my triggers. It really makes me feel, I, it, it really makes me acknowledge my sobriety when I pick up dog poop. So it's all these little, little milestones in my head that's like, wow, Lonnie, you're doing really good. I'm like, I know, I'm picking up dog poop. So we are going to take her out, make sure she takes care of her business. So while I'm out here, it's gonna give me the opportunity to show you something. So this right here, hold on. I'm like this right here and the only thing you can see is my face but this right here this little gardenia plant for some reason this one passed away and so I'm going to remove that one this plant right here I actually dug up when Indy was a baby because she was eating it and I thought it was poisonous and she had really bad skin problems and so I thought that that had something to do with that there's no plant right there and then this plant, this rose bush right here, Robert and Brandon gave this one to my mom for Mother's Day. Indy, leave the bush alone, stop. They gave that to my mom for Mother's Day. Gosh, you know, before she passed away. Stop, Indy, leave that bush alone. So what I'm going to do is today I've been thinking about it, and this has really been bugging me. I wanna go get two more little rose bushes like that one like that one. I'm gonna get two more little rose bushes and I'm gonna plant them there. And then I wanna get a new gardenia and put it there. Now, here's how I deal with loss in my life. Because when I'm thinking about it, I'm like, ooh, I got a rose bush for my mom. I'll get a rose bush for my sister. I'll get a little rose bush for me, even though I'm still alive. And then I'm gonna get a gardenia for my dad. So it'd be like my dad with his three girls. And that, you know what, and, and stuff like that just makes me, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like we're still all together. So yeah, I think, I think that that will be a good project. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And Indy's still out there just wandering around not doing what she's supposed to do. All right, we are getting ready to head out. I have to um, put on my sunscreen first, super important. And I have to go return this romper I got from Amazon. I've been all about finding free people like items on Amazon and I found one that looked just like free people's hotshot onesie. Unfortunately, uh, it came like this. This strap was not connected to this little hook thing. So they're like, oh, we'll send you a new one. And I was like, mm, no, I just, you know, I'm just gonna take my money back and I'll try again. I'm sure it was just a fluke. It was like $20, but still, I like my stuff to be um, actually put together when I get it. So we are heading off to Coles and we have all sorts of things we have to do this morning. So let's go drop that off and get going.
Okay, so that's dropped off, and I'm telling you right now, I, oh, there you are. So that's dropped off, but I rarely see people in coals, and it just amazes me that they're still like vibrant, which I'm happy, so don't get me wrong there. I just, more people need to come shop at Coles because it makes me sad that nobody's ever in here. People are starting to stare. <laughs> Well, that's my cute little outfit and we are now departing Kohl's before they call security and kick out the crazy lady who's talking to herself in the aisle. So we're done here. I'm going to walk over to Marshall's because I found a really cool pair of shorts the other day at Marshall's for $16. Um, I'll show you right here. And then I also, um, they look just like a pair of Free People shorts that were like $68. So I'm gonna go into Marshall's and see if I can't find another cool pair of, um, another cool pair of shorts. Because again, I'm all about wearing shorts this year. I'm gonna wear shorts, I'm gonna show my skin, I'm gonna show my legs, and I'm gonna be okay with that. Okay, I do wanna show you this really quick. Now, between Kohl's, which is right there, and we have Walmart, Marshalls, and Ross is right there. There's this really cool little area. It's called Vail, Rain oh, Vail Headquarters, that's what it's called. And it's just this really cool like little um, oasis of coolness, I guess you could say. And this is like a historical spot. They have a lot of the same buildings that they had when Temecula first started. So I'm going to walk around here really quick and just kind of let you see this really cool little spot. just the cutest little shopping spot and they have like in the summertime which it's the summertime but on Fridays they'll have like some music and then they were having like a car show so there was a bunch of old cars there they have ceramics I actually learned how to do ceramics there so it's just a fun little like I said a little hidden thing in the middle of a shopping center and I thought you would enjoy that so Let's go into Marshalls and see if I can find some more cute shorts. are just like the green ones that are exactly like the free people ones that I found and I found these in a real cool little um, tan color so I thought these are gonna be great nice lightweight 
airy. Now we are going to go, gosh, we need to go to the nursery. There's a heat advisory. I'm used to living out here. This is the way that the weather usually is. I have my water. So I'm gonna go to the nursery and I'm gonna find those little rose bushes and that gardenia bush. So I can kind of have like that little, that little cool little thing that I um, thought of this morning. in my car but it is hot I mean when I tell you it is hot it is so and I'm not complaining remember I'm not gonna complain about the heat but um, yeah it's it's a little toasty so I'm giving us a green ambiance I gotta tell you plants are way more expensive than I thought they were gonna be that actually ended up costing me hundred and forty four dollars but it is for my family and the lady that checked me out, she was very nice, but she and I had a heated debate over whether or not I was gonna get plant food and special soil. And I'm like, listen, I come up from a family of survivors. We can survive in good soil or bad soil. These plants are a representation of my family and we don't need no stinking plant food plant foods are for sissies and she's looking at me like I'm insane so I did compromise because I'm you know I'm not that bad but I ended up getting some special soil for the gardenia my car smells amazing and I have one more stop it is hot so I don't want to take two actually two more stops I want to go check the um, the rack is having the clear the rack sale. I want to go check the shoes because I've gotten some great deals on their shoes. And then I'm going to grab some lunch. I'm getting a sub sandwich for lunch. So, hmm. Ah, it smells so good in here. And let's head over to the rack. Ah, plant food, my behind. My plant's going to live one way or the other. off I missed their clear the rack sale 
as always I'm a day late and a dollar short so they didn't have that extra percentage off I found nothing that I needed in the shoes they had some Doc Martens but I've got plenty of those and it's too hot I found one pair of sandals but they had the fur and I'm like mm, I don't really want to wear fur during the summer so nothing for the shoes <sighs> I wasn't like super gosh I don't want to be mean to to the rack but I wasn't super blown away by their their selection of just about anything mm -mm. I, I, I think I have better luck thrifting so it is what it is it is oh my gosh it's almost one o'clock and I'm starving so I told Robert and Brandon I was gonna stop and get some sub sandwiches for lunch because I don't eat very much bread, but when I do, I go for a huge vegetarian sub sandwich. It sounds awesome. <sighs> so, enough of that. looked so cute it is exactly how I wanted it so lunch is done and my plants are out there it's too hot to try to even remotely think about planting those today so I'll plant those tomorrow morning but Indy and I are going to take the rest of the day off we are going to just do some admin work for YouTube and then I think we're going to do a Netflix marathon what do you think Indy she says yes, definitely something that sounds good. I don't need my ears cleaned. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you each and every time that you do. I hope that you had as much fun as I did. And until our next adventure, remember, be bright, be bold, be brave. Indy says, follow my mommy. And I will see you on the next adventure. Bye.